I think it's on the bookshelf. Do you want to have a look? So Bella at the moment is just having a quick look to see if she can find the story that we want to read today because we've had one of those afternoons again where it's been lots and lots of snuggles and resting on the sofa and then I decided that actually I really want to read Room on the Broom to you today because there's lots of zoom in the story and zzz is our sound today. So Let's pop that sound up there so that we can keep remembering that that's our sound for the day. Zzz, lovely. So while we wait for everybody to join in, we are going to sing our welcome song. So show me those beautiful waving hands. Are we ready? Here we go. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. Hello everybody, it's time for us to sing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for us to sing. Well done, everybody. Oh, that's fantastic. Bella's found the book. And it's such a perfect, perfect book for teaching today's sound. So if you joined me earlier on, then you will know exactly what day it is today. But if you didn't, don't worry, I'll take you through it now. So we've had Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday was Wednesday, which means that today is Thursday, the fourth day of the week. Let's sing our Days of the Week song together because it helps us to remember their order. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go for it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day's a happy day, every day's a magic day, each day's a different day and every day is new. Well done everybody. Now if you were with me earlier you might have seen that we gave our superstar award of the day to a lovely little boy called Elliot. So we're going to put his star up now. So here's your star Elliot and let's write your name. Now I'm hoping I spell it right but if you notice that I don't then do let me know and I'll write it again. Elliot. I can't remember if it's two t's or one so I'm going to put two and we can always rub one out. I'm going to get my tape. Oh the special tape. The tape of destiny. There we go. Oh my scissors. There they are. We've got so much, because we're doing junk modelling today, there is recycling everywhere, so much so that I can barely see the floor around me. Are you ready for junk modelling today? You are, and if you're watching on YouTube, do let me know if you're there, and I'll make sure to say a big hello. So there we are, there's Elliot's superstar, and we're going to pop it on our Thursday sticker. So there you are, Elliot. So our stars of the week so far, we've had lovely Emily, who did some brilliant phonics on Monday. Freya, who's been blending beautifully. And then we had lovely Jasmine, who was singing with us so gloriously yesterday. And then lovely Elliot, who managed to count back all the way from 10 this morning while we were singing our brilliant song, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So just for you, Elliot, let's sing that song again together. Get your zooming rockets, everybody. Let's get them ready. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, step into my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's count down just like Elliot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off! All the way up to space. And let's go on that lovely moonwalk where we walk really slowly because in space there's no gravity. So we can jump up and it takes a long time for us to come back down to the ground again. 
Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant singing songs with you. Now, what other song did we do earlier on? We did the song about the buzzy bees, didn't we? And it started with one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. And then we spoke about buzzy bees together. And we were remembering that z -z sound. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. One, two, three, four, five. Bees go buzzing round the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, buzzy bees, why you buzz so busily. Peep in and you will see we're making honey for your tea. Do you know, I needed reminding of the words for that one again. Thank you so much for helping me. Should we do that one more time? Let's remember those buzzy bees. Here we go. Let's be buzzy, buzzy bees. One, two, three, four, five. Bees go buzzing round the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, buzzy bees, why you buzz so busily? Peep in and you will see. We're making honey for your tea. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big old lollipop clap for such wonderful singing. Lolly, lolly, lollipop. Lolly, lolly, lollipop. Lolly, 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 pop. Now, before we do our zooming rocket arts and crafts, we're going to read a story. The story is called The Room, oh, Room on the Broom. And the reason I've chosen this story is because there are lots of times where we hear a zzz sound. So find a nice, comfy spot to sit read along with me. Here we go. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. Bella, is it, can you see okay on Instagram? I want to make sure everybody can see the pictures. There you go, perfect. Perfect. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in its jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled her hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and zoom! They were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and a stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held onto her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then, out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely, then bent her head low, and then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and are you ready? Zoom! They were 
gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee. And a stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried her wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick and zoom! They were gone. Oh, over the moors and the mountains they flew. <gasps> the frog jumped for joy. And the broom, can you remember what happened? <gasps> Oh my goodness, they were having such a wonderful time. Uh-oh. Down fell the cat and down fell the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog and the witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and, licking its lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. <gasps> I wonder who it was, can you remember? The dragon drew back and started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. Oh, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you... I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the dog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she uttered a spell. Iggity. Ziggity, zaggity, zoom! And out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and zoom! Zoom! <laughs> they were gone. And that was Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. Thank you so much for reading that along with me. It was so lovely to see you all joining in with that flying broomstick flying into the air. 
Now, today we are going to be recycling some of the stuff that we find in our recycling box. So all the packets and all of the things that are ready to go into the recycling bin, we can dig out and turn into wonderful creations. Today, we are going to be creating something that is going to zoom, zoom, zoom to the moon. We're going to create our very own zooming rocket out of junk all of our recycled bits and bobs. And to help me today with this big task is our lovely friend who's usually behind the camera. But because Bella is such a whiz at arts and crafts, she's going to help me today make our brilliant junk model rockets. So while she gets ready, I'm going to say big hellos to everybody who's watching. So Bella, can I have the list of everybody watching so far on Instagram? And if your little ones are watching on YouTube, then you can comment and I'll say hello to them as well. A big hello to George, ooh, who'd like wind the bobbin up. Hello to Frankie, who's asked for jingle bells. Ooh, that's a funny one for the summer, but I'm sure we can sing it. Big hello to Max, who'd like the five cover fun song. Well done, Max, you remembered for me. And a big hello to Izzy and Jules, who wondered if I've learnt the elephant have wrinkles on. I, do you know, I haven't had time. I know that's terrible. My little girls have kept me so busy over the past day or so. I promise I will learn it for you. I will. But I want to do it properly when I do. And a big hello to Auntie Dar, Grandad John and Nanny, who are watching with Max. Hello, hi. Oh, that is so lovely. I love that watching all of this can join everybody together. What's up, Bella? They're watching together on Zoom. Oh, that's so, so lovely. Well, do you know what? As you're watching with your grandparents, Max, let's sing a current bun song and we'll we'll share some of those current buns with them. So I'm going to grab my arts and crafts tray. Here it is. And my current buns. Will you help me count them onto my board? Here we go, Max, just for you. One, two, three four and five. Here we go. So Max, I wonder who these current buns are going to be for to start with and I wonder who else is going to buy them. Here we go. Are you all ready? Off we go. Five current buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Max with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are, Max, just for you. And now we've got one, two, three, four. Four current buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Grandad John with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are, Grandad John. That one's for you. I hope you enjoy your current bun today. Now, how many current buns do we have left? One, two, three. Three current buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Lila and Archie with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are, Lila and Archie, just for you. And now we have one, two current buns. Two current buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Frankie with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are, Frankie. That current bun is just for you. Let's have a look. We have one left. I wonder who it's going to be for. One current bun in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Maya with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are, Maya. That current bun is for you today. I hope that you enjoy it and that it's scrummy yummy for you. Now, for George, we're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up. So show me those beautiful winding hands. Here we go. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. 
left. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, <clears throat> clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. My goodness, have you noticed, Bella? My voice is really starting to go. I think. I hate to say it, but I think one day I might have to have a day off. Just one. Just, just to voice, rest just my just voice. <laughs> a whole day where I won't be allowed to talk. And then I can come back bright and shiny and sing all of those songs much, much more beautifully. It's gotten, my voice seems to have gotten more and more hoarse as the days have gone on. <laughs> right then, Bella, come along and craft with me. So... The main things that we need when we do our junk modelling, oh, we've, she's, what's she bringing? She's bringing the lids from some innocent smoothies. We've got scissors. We've got some tape. Gonna take that board down. We've got lots and lots of boxes. We've got some bottles. We've got um, some apple, an apple juice carton. But the biggest and most important thing that we always need when we do our junk modelling is our runny glue, our PVA glue. It's always brilliant help, isn't it? So somewhere around here, I popped my paintbrush somewhere, but Bella's, Bella's gonna go search for it because she is the queen of crafts. It was actually her idea to do the zoom, zoom rockets for our junk modeling. So while she finds that paintbrush, and she does she does a big eye roll whenever I get ready for arts and crafts because she's always the one looking after me and getting it ready. We're gonna get that PVA glue ready because it's just always something we need whenever we do junk modeling. Oh, some string. We've got glue sticks. My goodness, it's wonderful. Oh, I don't want to ruin it. Look at Bella's thundercloud. No, I mean like cut off a bit of string. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So we've got some string. Oh, I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I've not seen that before. Isn't she talented? Speaking of talented people doing their very own arts and crafts, just while we wait for Bella, look at, I, I got some post through and I looked in the envelope and look at what somebody's drawn for me. Isn't that, it's me. Somebody drew a picture of me and I'm sitting on the moon. And do you know what, when I opened it, I went, because I absolutely love it. Don't you think that's wonderful? I'm really, really happy with that. It's by, the illustrator's called Madam Curiosity. And she's on Instagram, absolutely check her out. She's so talented. And I hadn't spoken to her before she sent it. She just sent it really, you know, just out of the blue. And I nearly cried. And I, one, one of the reasons I nearly cried is because she seems to have designed me the most beautiful dress and I don't actually own it and I really want it. So that's my, my next thing is to try and make that dress because it's so pretty. But isn't that lovely? I'm absolutely in love with it. Oh, we've got a paintbrush. Perfect. Right then. Come on in, Bella. Let's make, now she's brought every craft she possibly can for this junk model rocket. So Bella, what I was thinking was that maybe we could use a bottle as the base for our rocket. What do you think? Come and sit with me. And some of you have never seen Bella before, but this is, this is Bella, my, my little, my little mini me. I want much tidier hair. <laughs> right then. You, you have much tidier hair. It's straighter. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant in cur curls, because that's neat. Because oh. that's neater than I have no curls. Okay, well, so what are we going to use today for making our, our rocket? Oh, are we doing two rockets? I don't know. Okay, Maybe. so we're using a bottle. So that's going to be the basis. And I think really anything that's kind of big... And, and hollow is quite good for a rocket, isn't it? Because then you can kind of fill it up with things. This rocket's got some water in it. I'm just going to yeah. pour it. I'm going to pour it into my, my glass so that it doesn't get my clothes all wet. Because I think what I'm going to do for my rocket is I'm going to turn it upside down like that. And I'm, I'm going, I don't know about you, but I always think that rockets should have a cone shape on the top so that they go really, really fast when they're launched into space. What do we think? So for the cone shape... I think I'm going to use some card from my box. And would you like some card from the box too? Yeah. Yes, I 
Christmas. And what are you making your rockets with at home? If you're if you're junk modelling along with us, then do let us know. And the wonderful thing about this is they're all going to look different, which is really exciting. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm thinking if I cut it into like a triangle sort of a shape, like that. I'm addicted to these, actually. We've got lots of these boxes. You love Have seaweed crisps. Seaweed crisps. There you go. I think you're probably going to do a better job of making your cone than I am. I eat seaweed crisps every day. It's not good. It's, it's, but they're yummy. It's a and bad they're, habit. They're healthy, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's how I'm going to make, like, the pointy bit of my rocket. Oh, I've not done it very well. Oh, do you know what? I think that cones are actually circles to start with, aren't they? Yeah, probably. It's annoying. Not to. Oh, oh, I've had another idea. Okay. So okay. the wonderful thing about junk modelling is that we start with just lots and lots of junk, and we have to be. Stuff. There's a really important word. The word is resourceful. It's about using what you have around you to make something that's in your imagination. Oh, oh, I've had another idea. So, I am go. I've got this glitter here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it onto my plate. So much glitter and goofy So eyes. much glitter. But I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to use that for the top of my rocket, like that. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. So I'm going to take my glue. Where's my glue? Uh, which glue? There's the glue. Glue. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to squirt some on the top. Just like this. I wonder what yours are all going to look like. Now, if you make rockets today, then make sure to send me a photograph of what you've made. I cannot wait to see what everybody's making today. It's so exciting, isn't it, Bella? I remember making a junk model of that robot that you showed Oh, the before. robot was amazing. We didn't give it a name, did we? Oh, Eddie did. She called it. She she called it, it was either Edward or John. She likes to call a lot of things Edward. Oh, we've got Grandad John watching today. Oh, yeah. There, okay, so that's the top of my rocket, just like that. And then what I can do is I kind of want to put some windows around here because that's going to be, that's going to be like the, the, the cockpit of my rocket that's going to be where all of the astronauts sit and when they're flying the spaceship they're going to be able to sort of see out that way from all areas part of the reason i use an innocent one is because if you put a circle around that it looks like the innocent logo. oh it does doesn't it, it looks like somebody's <laughs> looking out the window that's so clever bella okay so i'm going to i want to cut out some windows and i found some a little bit of um an old sparkly piece of foam that we've not been using for a long time. I'm just going to wait for the scissors because we're sharing today, aren't we, Bella? We're taking it in turns. And that's very good because that's being friends, isn't it? Sharing's caring. So I'm going to, I want to do circles and I'm not going to worry too much about drawing them out first. I'm just going to cut them. So it's not too, I'm not too worried about them being absolutely perfect. There's one window and there's another one. And I'm going to, I'm going to be using PVA glue to stick my windows all the way around. My rocket's almost a space station. And space it's, station slash rocket. Yeah, it's well, because it's able to zoom, it's able to zoom through the sky, but it's also able to hover in space because it's going up on a mission to look out for five little men in a flying saucer and try and bring them back home. There's a story. There's a story behind my rocket. So many stories. Well, that's the wonderful thing, Bella, about doing creative things, is that if you make one thing, then suddenly your imagination starts to go quite wild. And so, yes, my, my space rocket right. has got a story to it today. There you go. Did you need the scissors? Yeah, I remember making the robot. and got that paintbrush. Um, oh, gosh. Where's it gone? I don't know. Oh, golly gosh. That's okay. I'm going to be super resourceful and use a note thing. You can have that one. I'm going to use a lollipop stick as a glue spreader today. So being resourceful means that if there's a problem and you don't have the thing that you need, well, instead you use another thing in its place. Looking at the things that are around you. So I'm going to rip that. There we go. Oh, now they've all gone everywhere. Sometimes we have to be very resourceful. Well, at the moment, it's, it's very tricky to go to the shops, isn't it? And so we're having to be really resourceful. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on all the 
places where I'm planning to put a window. And you go all the way around. Who is crafting along with me today? I think George might be. Oh, lovely. George is such a trooper, isn't he? Doesn't he make the most amazing craft? Mm -hmm. I love seeing George's craft. Okay, so I'm going to start to stick the windows onto my rocket. Now, remember, if you're using runny glue, it takes a long, long time to dry. And that's okay. It just means we have to be careful. Because then once it's dry, it's usually quite solid. Okay, so there we are. That's the beginning of my space station. So all of the windows are around the top bit, and I'm going to put a window right on the front as well. Now, when you're doing your drunk modeling, you can even use paint to cover things up and make them look exactly the way that you want them to. So that's another window for my rocket. Now, the biggest thing that I definitely, definitely need for my rocket are, I never know what they're called, but those things that stick out at the bottom that help the rocket to move through space. Do you know what they're called, Bella? No. No, me either. There's something. Who knows what they're called? The things at the bottom of a space, they're almost like a claw, aren't they? They have four of them. They usually do have four of them. I drew them onto the picture. That you I just, did! I just draw many pictures. So, this time, what am I going to grab this time to help me draw that part? I'm going to get some card. Let's have a look. Oh, and I want them to be... What colour do I want to use today? Oh, blue. I think I'm going to use blue today. Lovely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm trying to think of what shape I want them because they are kind of clawy, aren't they? So I'm going to do one and see if I can get that shape. Kind of like that, maybe. Oh, I think that could do it. And then I want to fold it on. It's almost like the fiery bit, isn't it? When we have that big blast off. Who's ever watched a rocket take off? I did at school. Did you? Yeah. I didn't watch it at the place, but we watched it on TV because we were learning about rockets. That's cool. They always have a big blast of fire, don't they? So I folded that and I'm going to get some more glue and I'm going to stick it all, away, all the way around the edges. This might be tricky. So I might only do one just to show you how I'm going to do that. <laughs> and it might not work. I might have to try something out. Oh, there we go. I like that. That's going to look really good. I'm going to do four of those, Bella. What do you think? Yeah. Stick them all the way around. I haven't even started. Have you not? I think Bella's going to take her time with hers. So I'm going to do one there. I'm going to put that on. Oh, no. Do you know what? I might. Can you help me? Would you hold that up for me, please? Yeah. You're so good at helping, aren't you? And then I need to do another one. I'm gonna Should cut we them. use some sellotape as well? Sellotape might be better. Yeah, PVA glue takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to do two of those so that we... Because my rocket only needs two. And then I think I'm going to use some tissue paper for the flames. But because we've run out of yellow, I'm going to use green. Yeah. What do you think? Being super duper resourceful. <laughs> I just love the lollipop stick thing. Well, do you know, lollipop sticks can be used for lots of things. I can even put my hair up with a lollipop stick. I bet you didn't know that. And with a pen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, it's starting to look a little bit more like a rocket now. And then what I want is, I want, like, some streams of... Um, like ribbons and things like that to help my rocket fly through this. <gasps> oh no, it's that PVA glue. <laughs> okay, so that's the start of my junk modeled rocket. And you know what? It's not looking so great. I'm going to carry on with it a little bit later. I need wet tissue paper. Yeah, this junk modeling malarkey is not easy to do on a live video because we need all the things. <laughs> so I am going to set you a challenge to make a rocket out of junk modeling, but to take your time with it. And I want to see who can use their creative minds, their resourcefulness, their reflection, and this is a really, really big word, their reciprocity. Now, reciprocity is when you work together and help each other. So lots of R's today to build their very own junk model rocket. So let's remember what those R's are. We want to use our resourcefulness. So we're going to use all the things that we can that are being recycled. 
We want to use our reciprocity and help each other. So working with our grown-ups or with our brothers or our sisters. We want to use our powers of reflection and think about thing, different things that we can try to make our rockets even better. And then most importantly, we're going to use our resilience. It's not going to be easy. Junk modeling can be really fiddly, but we're going to keep on going. Your challenge is to build a zoomy, zoomy rocket, a rocket that you know is going to make the loudest zoom all the way through the sky and then get your grown up to take a photograph of it for me. And I think it will be better than mine. Mine looks a little bit like a very upset dolphin. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> so I cannot wait to see your junk modeled rockets later on. Okay, let's finish that video there yeah. by singing something that you see when you're zooming in your rocket through the star, the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. A big well done again to lovely Elliot for being our superstar today. I'm so, so proud of you, Elliot, for counting all the way back from 10. That's amazing. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And Bella, if there are any more hellos that I need to do, then please do let me know. You oh, go on. Sing, you need to sing Jingle Bells for Frankie. I do need to sing Jingle Bells for Frankie. Go on then, as it's you. Although it's very strange to sing it when the sun <laughs> is shining so brightly. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a great big rocket ship. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a great big rocket ship. Zoom! <laughs> Let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together. Are you ready, everybody? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done, everybody. I can't wait to see you tomorrow when we will be learning a new sound. Tomorrow's sound is amazing. We're going to be learning ch ch ch, and we're going to be doing some cooking together. And I'm going to be helping you to learn how to cook your very own meal so that you can feed yourself your own dinner tomorrow, give your grown up an evening off. So I'm, I'm certain I'm going to be able to do that one. I know the exact ingredients. Sadly, junk modeling is not something I'm really very good at, but I'm going to keep trying and I will show you all my rocket tomorrow once it's made and beautiful. Bella, what's up? You look very puzzled. We're going to have to put them in the kitchen so they can see you cooking. No, no, I'm going to have a little table. It's all good. The only thing I don't have, which I really want, is a chef's hat. But I have no idea how they stay on your head. <laughs> They're very tall. A little bit like the witch's hat that keeps falling off. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I hope that you all have the loveliest Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow for phonics and cooking. Woohoo! I can't wait. Goodbye, everybody. See you very soon. Mwah.